Hi there, sweet friends. It's Cynthia from the website createwithcynthia.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take Iron Orca Designs, Air Dry Clay, and the Bird Song Mold and create wine charms. So stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your Iron Orchid Design Decor Mold and you're going to season it with some cornstarch. Um, you don't have to put cornstarch on the decor mold into the crevices, but if you do, it helps to get the clay out. So I would suggest, suggest it. This, um, this decor mold is called Bird Song. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven different birds, and they're pretty intricate detail wise. So, what I'm doing is I'm just using an old chip brush and I'm using some cornstarch and I'm putting it into the crevices of each of the molds. And then, what I'll do is turn it upside down like this and just shake it the cornstarch out. So you've just got like a, a light covering on them. Air dry clay from Iron Orchid Designs comes in packaging like this. I sell it on my website at createwithcynthiashop.com. So you need, in order to make the wine charms, you're going to need some charms that I'll put in the description box. I bought them on Amazon. You're going to need your decor mold and you're going to need some air dry clay. And for this project, the last thing you're going to need is paint. And I'll be using DIY paint. So air dry clay dries pretty quickly. Um, and I also like to use this scraper when I'm using the air dry clay. So you're just going to take a piece off like this. Work it in your hands, kind of roll it into like um, a shape like that. And then you're going to just stick it into the molds like this. Now, when you're working with the molds, you want the, the back side of it to be flat. Now, for my wine charms, I'm going to use these smaller ones. I have a couple videos out on using the clay, you can check out on my YouTube channel. It's in a playlist under Iron Orchid Design. Um, I think it says Iron Orchid Designs Clay. And you do have to apply some pressure here. You want to get it in there good. Sometimes I hold the clay and then stick this way. And then your scraper is going to come in handy because what you're going to do is you're going to Use it to allow for a, cr a flat surface, but scraping the excess off. Like that. There you go. Now, Oreo likes to bark, so you probably just heard him barking. And I have a video on my pups. Oreo and Sophie are three years old. They came to our family as puppies, and I have a video on my pups. It's called Painted Drop Cloth Bunnies and a Story About My Pups. So you can check it out. It's on YouTube. It's under a playlist that spring, I believe it's the spring decor playlist. It's good to give the clay overnight to dry. But if you want to paint the clay immediately, you can. You just need to be careful not to push down too hard on the clay because you will, you will destroy some of the image. So as you can see, they're very delicate. 
and there's a lot of intricate detail on the image. So when you're not working with your clay, it's best to leave it in a Ziploc bag because it's an air dry clay, which means that the clay will dry. Once you have finished creating your molds and before the molds have dried, you'll want to place a hole in the bird mold. I used a toothpick to create a hole and then I stuck my wine charm in the mold and allowed the molds to dry overnight. Now I'm removing the wine charms so that I can paint my molds. Once you've allowed the molds to dry overnight, you can then paint the molds. I'm using DIY paint in the color of Petal Pusher and Beadboard. I'm mixing the two colors together to create a blended look. So once you have created your hole for your wine charm, you can actually take the charm off and then you can paint your mold and then put the charm back on. DIY paint comes in over 20 colors. I chose beadboard and petal pusher. Once the paint dried, I used Big Top to seal the paint. Handmade bird wine charms paired with a bottle of bubbly and some wine glasses make the perfect gift. Don't forget to check the description box for links to all of those things. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.